would say the most important thing for me right now is the support from other professionals and camaraderie within the group. Uh, because as an emerging professional, it's pretty hard once you get out of school to figure out how you're going to get licensed, how to go about doing it. Each state's different, so especially California, it has a bunch of different regulations. Uh, so mostly we've been able to form a small group of emerging professionals. We all working towards AREs, talk about what we need and what's the best way to do things. My peers are a great resource and the AIA brought together a lot of people that were going through the tests and ex having the same experiences and the, the trouble that I was um, through struggling through the nine and I guess now seven ARE exams. Associate members get a huge peer support network that are going through all the same professional obstacles that they are. So studying for the AREs, moving into management positions, learning business practices, Everything like that is exactly what the AI is geared to. Getting through the seven exams or getting through the nine exams is a really hard thing. Um, and again, I, I defer to the AIA network and how supportive they are. Um, every time you pass a test, you'll find somebody equally or more excited than you are that you have made that accomplishment, and that always helps too. It's a really daunting task to do by yourself, and you can look up on the website all the requirements and all the things you need to do, but having somebody else to talk to, we have a couple people within my office that I go to regularly throughout the day and say, how, how are you doing this? How would you check off this off the list? So it helps to know other people in an official organization and be able to know that there's resources for people to talk to. It's crucial, first and foremost, to take advantage of the networking that the Institute offers. Um, I think that it's really underappreciated how much those connections mean when someone comes uh, from school not quite understanding how small the architecture profession really is across the country, let alone within one city, one chapter. The resources that are provided to them in one succinct place mm -hmm. and the networking opportunities that they get. Um, I've found so many people that are part of the AIA that have valuable information and are willing to share their time. I can't stress how important joining the AIA 23 years ago as an associate member was, was to me. Uh, I, I did it because it, it gave me a, a professional outlet where I was considered an equal amongst peers, but it opened doors for me and it continues to open doors for me. Many of the relationships that I, I have here at this, at this convention in 2009 were uh, relationships that were established uh, over my career and directly through membership at the AIA. Uh, the power of those relationships moving forward, especially looking at a, a cyclical downturn as we're going through now to leverage those opportunities through relationships, I think that's when membership really uh, tends to prove its value. For young associates especially, I think that it's, uh, if you want a very successful career, here's a great opportunity from the Institute perspective where you get to, to um, put something into a safe environment, a, a comfortable environment that you're aware of, that you, mm -hmm. you know others are there for the same reason you are, and who knows what you might come mm -hmm. out of. As an associate member, I think you have a lot to learn, and there's a lot to learn before you get licensed, and AI is one of the best ways to do that because they provide so many workshops and networking events and all this information to help you better yourself and get yourself closer to becoming an actual architect. I don't know everything, and I don't think any architect knows everything, but I know that there's going to be people who will be there to give me the information. Well, I think in a lot of ways the AIA is built, is optimized for young architects. Uh, young architects are people who don't know very much about how the overall network of the building industry works. They don't know very much about the mechanisms. They don't know where the resources are to figure these things out. And they need to have mentors and colleagues and connections to other people in the profession. You know, architecture is a culture where it's very much about a way of thinking about the world and, and organizing um, yourself in the world. And in that sense, the AIA is an excellent mechanism for getting attached to that. Because I didn't go to a school that taught about historic preservation and I didn't go to a school that taught about um, architects and government and the citizen architect, you know, so these are the things that I want to know because I wasn't educated on them before. So in order to become a more well-rounded architect, I have these knowledge communities that I can go to in these different member specialization areas. And then once I find my niche, I know that I'll be able to give back and do the same thing. When I joined as an associate member, it allowed me to broaden my horizon uh, of what architecture is all about. Um, if you just think about architecture in terms of a textbook knowledge, 
there's a whole world out there of knowledge and experiences and opportunities. And one of the ways of you know, getting exposed to that is through other architects and a great vehicle for doing that is the AIA. Mm -hmm.